One of the actors who played Superman years ago, his name was Christopher Reeves, was really incredible at it. In fact, when everybody saw this man, you just thought, there's Superman. You know, I mean, he was super strong and he looked invincible and he was young and good looking. And I'm sure in many ways, he probably saw himself that way. But then there was this terrible equestrian accident where he fell head first off of a horse and he actually resulted in a surgery where they had to reattach his head to his body. It was so tragic. He was paralyzed completely. And, and such a radical shift in sort of his abilities really depressed Christopher Reeves to the point where he wanted to end his life. And at one point he shared that with his wife and she looked at him and she uttered these words, you're still you and I love you. And I don't know about you, but I think many of us right now with COVID are sort of struggling with feeling kind of lost with who we are because what we're able to do and some of the things that defined us have really shifted and changed quite a bit. But today I hope you hear that you're still you and God loves you. And I hope that that encourages you. And so, so we know that we're valuable and yet the reality is oftentimes we don't feel valuable. So why is it that we don't feel valuable? Maybe it's the culture we live in, or maybe your family, or, or maybe you've been given some sort of harsh labels throughout your life that you just can't quite seem to shake. Well, whatever it is, you have to realize that we face an enemy, the enemy of God, who is a thief and wants to take our true identity away from us. In fact, Jesus said, the thief comes only to steal and kill and destroy. But I came that they may have life and have it abundantly. See, Jesus came to give us life, to, to truly define our identity in a way that goes far beyond our abilities or our performance or how we look or what we own or who we hang out with. Ultimately, our identity is formed and shaped through Christ himself because Jesus loves you and he made you. And maybe you're like, yeah, whatever, but no, this is huge, that the God of the universe personally loves you. And for me, I know that's just mind-blowing, and I hope I never, ever get over it. It also says in the Bible, for you have died, and your life is hidden with Christ in God. When Christ, who is your life, appears, then you also will appear with him in glory. And this means that basically our identity comes from God and nothing else. It says so very clearly there. It also says in the Bible, for those of us who follow Christ, know in all these things we are more than conquerors for those who, through whom he loved. For I am sure that neither death nor life, nor angels nor rulers, nor things present, nor things to come, nor powers nor height nor depth, nor anything else in all creation will be able to separate us from the love of God in Christ Jesus our Lord. What a powerful reminder for us today, right? I mean, maybe we should rewrite that a little bit. In current times, it looks something like this. For I am sure neither COVID, nor my number of followers, nor my clothing, nor my talent, nor raging fires all around us, nor virtual school, nor racial injustice, nor my GPA, nor anything else in all of creation shall be able to separate us from the love of God in Christ Jesus our Lord. Because it's easy to forget that, right? But if we really remember the truth of this passage, it's a game changer. Because basically what that says is our value is in our creator, and his love is perfect. And if you remember him, if you really remember who he is and what he's, what he's about, spending time in his word and in prayer, you'll never forget you. Remember that. If you remember him, you'll never forget you. And so I hope this encourages you this week that spend a little bit more time getting to know him so that you can remember who you really are. I mean, just imagine if we all decided that we were going to stop letting the enemy mess with us, to let him steal our identity. What if we, we decided we're not going to do that anymore, that we're just going to spend time with God instead and remember who we really are, who we were made to be, and so remember ourselves.